Is it possible to recreate feelings of novelty with a sexual partner you've been with for a long time? So I think anything is possible. I want to be clear about that. I, I think this is very challenging. And I think this is probably one of the primary challenges that people in long-term relationships face with their sexual relationships is that it is very difficult to recreate feelings of novelty. Some of the novelty I think that is experienced also has to do with some of the initial distance that exists in the relationship. And it is very difficult, if not impossible, to recreate a sense of distance. There are people who have... and professionals who have tried to make certain suggestions about how people can create some of that distance, create some of that novelty. I think a lot of those suggestions are not without risk to the safety and security of relationships. And I think that these things have to be weighed. I recognize that this is a very, very complex uh, area of people's lives where they do need, uh, many individuals do need to achieve a certain level of uh, sexual novelty, of sexual satisfaction. It oftentimes is healthy for the relationship. And at the same time, some of that can uh, put other elements of the relationship at risk. So is it possible? I believe that it's possible. I think, though, that people have to be very sensitive with how they go about trying to cre recreate these feelings of novelty. I will also just add that I don't think novelty is a necessary ingredient for every relationship and for everybody. As I've mentioned uh, on other episodes, there is there are different purposes and different forms of partnered sexual activity. Some of it is recreational, and I think that's really where novelty seems to be a more pronounced feature. And some of it is relational. And I think when it comes to relational types of sex, novelty is not necessarily a primary active ingredient that is necessary to create the type of connection mm -hmm. and the type of emotional and and sexually emotional intimacy that people are looking for with their partners. It's not to say that one of these is better or more important than the other. I think every individual comes with uh, needs for emotional intimacy, needs for sexual intimacy, sexual novelty, recreational sex, relational sex. But I don't want to uh, give the impression that novelty is the only important or necessary ingredient. But I also don't want to downplay the importance and the role of trying to figure out how to infuse a relationship with novelty. 